All right, what's up guys? Uh, Pat and John here. We're here opening the brand new Zendikar Rising pre-release pack. Today is September 18th, so the take-home pre-release pre is happening today and tomorrow while supplies last. So we're gonna open one of these pre-release kits. We've taken off the plastic just to save ourselves some time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open some of these packs and uh, let's talk about some of the cards and see what's going on. So, well, first of all, here, John, you can show everybody this little gear Let's up for see. adventure card. Gear up for adventure. Look oh, at that, how cute is that? Oh, Flavor. Oh, man. Cool, tells you how to build a pre-release deck in case you're actually playing. Yeah, so yeah, you can, you can see this online. So we're gonna open our packs and with every pre-release kit, you get one foil card. So our foil card is Archon of Emeria. John, can you hold that and we'll show yeah. people? Look at this. Fancy, fancy. I don't know if we want to uh, come down. Yeah. Which, we're, 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 we're working the cameras here. All right, let's go. All right. You also get an arena code so you can play at home. We're gonna. I'm gonna keep this one hidden. We're gonna give it away on our Facebook page a little later, maybe randomly, but I'm gonna put that away. Now let's get to the meat and potatoes of what we're doing. So we have six packs of Zendikar rising and uh hopefully we're gonna get something cool and uh as we go yeah. if we there's we, a cool new mechanic and talk some cool new mechanics talk about it when we, when yeah we when we get it. to it so let's, here. let's start cracking so they should be yep okay so we got a token and we should have a basic land oh okay so first things first full art basic lands are back so Fancy. that's kind of cool and see and then we have Mesa Lynx. Hold on, I'm losing focus here. I don't know if you want to just put it down okay, on the fine. floor. And you're gonna focus on it? Cool. Yeah. All right, and then we have Tear, I can't even read it upside down. Teeter Peak Ambusher. Ambusher. This Flash guy. Oh, he's kicking. Right. Keep note, look at all these, look at all these creature types. They're all over the place. Human Elf Rogue, Rogue, Elf Rogue, so Giant Cleric. You might, you might notice, recognize these types, Clerics. Okay, that's a sorcery. Yep. And then that's a, another elf rogue. This is just an instant. Snare caster. That's kind of cool. It just kills things. Oh, here it is. Look at it. Look, look, look. All right. So this is the first card that we've come with one of the new, me the, the quote unquote new mechanics in this set. So one of the new mechanics is party. And the way, the way Zendikar Rising works is that a lot of cards are, are have an effect or have a different effect or might cost different if you have, if, if you can, if, if your creature's in play, it consists of a cleric, a rogue, a warrior, and a wizard, because that, those are the characters or the creatures that can be a part of your party, which is a very D and D, Dungeons and Dragons type of idea, right? Because a couple of years ago, Hasbro introduced like put 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 magic into the D and D world, and I think next year they've officially announced that there's going to be a D and D related set. So the fact that they're kind of putting in all these rogues, clerics is one of the, I guess, keystone mechanics. This, this party terminology, the, the, the party terminology introduced now yeah. is very cool. It's is, is very, very, it's gonna be relevant. Uh, but anyways, back to our pack. Um, so we have, you know, this guy's a core warrior. This is, oh, here's our first uncommon. You can, whenever you cast a kick spell, you can gain two life. So kicker is back. Kicker is, is if we'll talk about it when we get, if we see a card with kicker. And our rare is, oh, our rare is, okay, well, this guy's, this, well, we'll talk about that next card later. So this is our rare, Coralheim Chronicler, right? Um, that's Perfect a lot of text, wizard. and it's upside yeah. down, I can't read it. Uh, but Whenever you cast a kicked spell, draw a card, right. then discard a card, and then a whole bunch of text yeah. over here. So kick spells mean that, kick kick spells have an additional cost, that if you pay the kicker, it does additional things. So 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 the Jason, this set has kicker, so he does... He does his own thing if you cast him, but if you kick the spell, he does something else, right? But now, one of the coolest new mechanics of this set is the return of flip cards. So this card I'm holding is Sejuri Shelter, which is an instant. It says, target creature you control gains protection from the color of your choice until end of turn. However, can you focus that? Great. However, it's a modal card, which means he actually has a backside, which is... A land. a land. And then this card says, Sajiri Glacier enters the battlefield tap. It just taps for white mana. So one of the problems that a lot of people talk about with magic is that people hate getting, you know, mana screwed, right? And this set does something that a, a couple of other card games previously have done, which is kind of remove that. So in theory, your deck, instead of having, let's say, 24 lands, can have 20 lands and four of these. So... If it's late in the game and you need to cast this as a spell, you can. If it's early enough in the game, you can just put it down as a land 
right, into play tapped. And that kind of fixes a lot of mana problems, right? I believe um, like the, the, the old World of Warcraft card game had the exact same kind of similar similar strategy where you can just put any card face down. But Magic isn't going to do that. So what they do is they introduce these mortal cards. So I believe they're all actually lands on one side, but the front side, there's instants, there's sorceries, and I believe there are creatures as well. Right, so that's kind of one of the keystone mechanics. Of so this. how would you put this in your deck? Now you're saying you would either put a proxy card into your deck um, and mark it as this, or you get one of the new sleeve styles that actually has uh, a, a backing cover. So the new Ultra Pro Eclipse, or or some of the other brands and then that, that, that make sure you it. can't that make sure you can't see through the card. So I would probably recommend you double sleeve something like this and put it into one of those. Uh, those uh, Ultra Pro Eclipse kind of yeah. style. Sleeves. Also, there are there are. Um, I'm gonna just start cracking the second pack now. Yeah. There are additional. There there are token cards that 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 kind of say it's that you. Right, it's right here. Here's one. Boom. So then here, this is exactly what you can use in your deck. So it's still the magic back, but you can write in what card it is. So for so us, we can write in, in Sejuri Shelter. Or you know, or you could shuffle this, and then when you actually play it, you can pull the card out from your side, from your deck box, or whatever. So then you can shuffle with the magic card, but not mm -hmm. actually you need to deal with it. So that's that's going to be you useful. You draw a nice little picture on here too. Yeah, for sure. So going back to the meat and potatoes of it, let's go. So we have Scorch Rider into the Royal spell with Kicker. So what we were talking about spells with Kicker, more Human Clerics. I might have a little bit of trouble. Difficulty reading these cards upside down, by the way, but it's fine. So this Reclaim is another, the waste. This looks like a ramp spell with kicker. Another elf rogue. This is the card that's cheaper when you have a full party. And, oh, let's see. More merfolk clerics. It looks like every creature here has a creature type and a job. <laughs> Either a wizard, cleric, warrior, or rogue. Man, what is the set going to be like to draft once the draft's I know. It's, it sounds like it's going to be pretty fun. Oh, the look, warrior. we got another flip card. This one is, ah, so this is, he's a six mana dude with trample, which is great if you, you have too much mana, but if it, you grab him too early and you need mana, you can use him as land. How cool is that? All right, how cool is that? And this would have the regular restrictions, so four max of You these. can put four yeah. Akum Warriors in your deck. But you could, in theory, fill your whole deck with these types of cards. Yeah, and then you will never if, be If you were like, man, I hate ever, ever being in a situation where I'm in you trouble for mana. still get a basic land. And then our rare is this guy. And he is, he's an elf, but he is also a cleric, rogue, warrior, and wizard. Oh, it's like a jack of all trades. Yeah, he, he can, he, he, he's the guy, he, he, he's the guy that you need to fill your party out. It's kind of cool. Okay, cool. So those are some of the, let's see, let's see if we can get like a planeswalker or something in these packs to kind of uh, make it worthwhile. So I'm just going to quickly flip yeah, through we'll, these. Yeah, we'll speed it up for you folks. Because everybody only wants to see the rare. Let's see the money cards. If there are any, feed the swarm, Marasa Spritling. Oh, Ravager's Mace. Boom. Ah, this is a flip card that is a land or a land. Right, so this is the new wave of dual lands that they did for this set, which is... Uh, oh, wow, it doesn't come into play tap. It does not come into play tap, but it's like a dual land, but not really, because you once you play it, it you sticks. Yeah. yeah, so... Unless so, so. another card comes out that allows you to flip it to its opposite sure. side. Sure. But in case that happens, right? Yeah. But as of right now, if you have it in your hand, you can play it as a white mana or you can play it for green mana. But it's not a forest or a plains, though. Just, it's just a no, non-basic land. Just land yeah. It's just not basic land. It's kind of cool. We got a foil, whatever this guy is. Hellion. And our... Mountain. Mountain. Welcome basic. to Arena. And our uh, promotional card. We didn't even get a token that pack. Yeah, this is kind of cool. Boom. Let's see. So more merfolk rogues. So if, I just realized that rogue is not in the party. Oh, it is in the party. It is, yeah, yeah man. My it's bad. Totally a D &D my bad. Party my bad. Not this guy. This guy's just a beast. Look at this. Scry two and then draw two cards. What was this? Draw oh, yeah. Cards. This is one of those showcase look cards uh, that you can get. So um, the borderless. Borderless extended art, whatever you want to call it. Landfall too. Yeah, existing card with landfall. That's kind of cool. Now I have another one. Oh, wow. Same pack. What the kinda hell? Cool. You got two of them in one pack. Cool. And then this uh, wall, it's a wall. And then Goblin Warrior Guy, Journey to Oblivion. He looks <laughs> hilarious. That is freaking awesome. Uh, here's, oh, this is kind of cool too. It's literally a one damage card that turns into a land. So for all you guys that play bread burn decks that you need a land, there you go. And for our rare, oh, you we got, got 
this mythic legendary artifact. Colorless creatures get plus two, plus two. Whenever you tap a man well, permanent for colorless mana, you get an additional colorless mana. It's kind of cool. And then we also got this foil guy. I think we got a regular one of that too. And here's another token card. Another token card. Now it's just getting messy, but it's okay. We're almost done. Or... Boom, what do we get? Core wizard. Another wizard. More wizards, more zombie bats. Elf wizard. This guy's just an elemental. Flash flying. Yeah, with flash and flying. I've, a lot of these cards actually look pretty good in like, in limited format. Like, I mean, I Reach. mean, because like, generally creature types don't really matter, but if they do matter for the draft format, it's it's kind of cool. Like this is this is like a really good card if it costs two mana. If you have a full party of all four yeah. guys, it's two mana. You gain three life and draw three cards. Instant. That's really good. All right. And then uh it's upside down, can't read that. Oh, this is another land. This is an instant that turns into a land. Or a land that is an instant. These are really cool. And then our rare is This is gonna I feel like this is really gonna make a big deal during drafts and stuff. Yeah. Everybody sees it. Here's our cat token, and this guy has a lot of text. I don't want to read yeah. it, so I'm just going to put him down. Yeah. <laughs> he does, like, these three things that you're going to have to learn your cards. So what what happens in a draft situation? Basically, you get to see this card. Yeah, it's it's drafted like every other like every other um, so set you, that has So if you cards. have time to look around the table and yeah. see what everyone's holding, yeah. and you I have, believe, like, this amazing memory. I believe uh, there's one, dra one flip card in every pack. You can so. see if you can... Yeah. Calculate if that's going to come back around to you or who took yeah. it. Ooh, look at that. More spells, Elf Warrior, Mind Drain, Sizzling Barrage. I've seen this card a lot. Yeah. Do you remember if during the drafting process, are you allowed to take notes during the actual draft? You can't take notes, but you can see it. You can yeah, see you can people, see it. So you have yeah, to memorize can, it, but you, you can can't sit there and people, write it down. You can see people take it, right? Like, you can yeah. see you can see the person drafting that, fo that, that flip card. And then this guy's an other warrior. Okay, sure, this guy works with warriors. Uh, I think oh. you do get one flip card. This is actually really good. Return target card from your graveyard to your hand, and it's a... Uh, Some type of recovery card. Land. And you yeah, get it's a green land, mana, because right? you're so, not going to need that at the yeah. beginning. Our rare is Nighthawk Scavenger, Ooh, which Nighthawk is like... Family. Remember remember, remember Vampire Nighthawk yeah. from the original? The this guy's like strictly better. This guy's a vampire rogue. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, he's a vampire rogue, and he's strictly better, I think. And then now we have another basic land and a tip card. So in total, you know, we got we should have six of these cool flip cards, and which is kind of like the keynote mechanic for this set, right? And uh, yeah. So if 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 we were playing in a pre-release, you would now then have to take these cards that you just opened and make a forty-card deck. Um, it actually recommends seventeen lands straight up on this tip sheet. I don't know if you agree with that or disagree I agree. with that. Yeah, 17. Um, but with these new mana fixers, maybe you can cut that maybe down. Maybe you can cut that down, yeah, for sure. But either way, and that's kind of cool. This card is eligible to be it run in the deck. It is eligible to be put in your, in your... And this is not the same in every pack. You can it get is something not. different. Yeah. It is not. So we just happen to get this guy. You could get something else. It's got the stamp with the release date on it. So it looks like you get one flip card in every pack. 19 to 20. it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. So you have a bunch of spells that turn into lands or vice versa. Right, so come check it out. Um, if you guys, we do have draft boxes available for sale, which is these packs, and uh, we do have this super cool uh, buy a box promo of Aura. I can't read that upside down. Skyclave Hero. Skyclave Hero. Maybe you should stand on the right side, maybe, and yeah, I should stand on the yeah. upside down side. So, so, so <laughs> he's also a legendary creature. So you know, if you play Commander, ca Commander eligible. You'll Commander see, eligible. You'll hear us mention that a lot. Yeah, and, and like and like Pat said, they did a delve of D and D, adding uh, the Magic Worlds. So this is the Theros one. This is one of the newest ones. They did do Ravnica before, and now next year we're looking uh, pretty excited to see it cross more into this Magic realm, and see these uh, these introduction of these parties and stuff. That's cool. Yeah, so swing by this weekend, pick up a pre-release kit. Yeah, or, or hit hit up your local shop. Uh, thanks a lot, guys.